And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's New Zealand against Qatar. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? A look at the New Zealand starting 11. the Qatar starting 11. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five, but with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. begins top class defending loves to attack from the wide areas the cross is on can he finish oh he saved it well So close to getting that early goal there, but it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Grady Diangana. Could cross it in here. And cutting inside. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. The ball back with New Zealand here. Abdulaziz Hatem. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. No problems for the keeper. Martinez. a piece of tackling to break things up Torreira there's a slide rule pass could be and there it is 1-0 the efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance.
So underway again here. One nil to score. Alhaidos. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Maxence Lacroix. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And it's gone behind for the corner. Let's see about the delivery. Not away completely. Cicero. Able to get a body in the way. He's driven in the corner. Well, still an issue here. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Well, he keeps going. Torreira. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Melero. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And going short with it. Melero. And the pass could do damage. Still possibilities. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Torreira. Can he take the chance? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Karim Budiaf. Well, that was a guilt-edged opportunity for the equaliser. Well, I'm not sure how he's missed the target from there. That's a poor effort. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And so the battle commences. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Nicely timed tackle. unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw Pedro Miguel creative look about this 
and couldn't keep himself onside. Melero and on the ball, Tisagon. That's useful play. Spot on with that tackle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Under a fair bit of pressure. Well, clattered away. And into the last 30 minutes now. Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And it is an early shower for him. Red card. Well, the outcome was never in doubt. That was always going to be a sending off. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. Hatem, Almoez Ali, breaking at pace. Alexis McAllister. Not problematic for the keeper. Torreira and the cross goes in well pretty straightforward for the keeper you've got to say Abdel Karim Hassan 20 minutes to go and he read it well intercepting it being egged on by the crowd can he finish Keeper did his job to begin with. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Will he play it in? Throw into New Zealand. Grady Diangana. Torreira, opportunity, flinging himself at it, the keeper. So a personnel change then. Playing it in, it hasn't come to very much. Fine cross into the middle. Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. And he read it superbly. Torreira.
A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Could cross it in here. Makes the move to the inside. It's got to be! In it goes! To increase their advantage! And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And he's made headway. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.